Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the Buccaneer 5th job video. <laughs> video. Oh my god. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk about the Buccaneer 5th job skills. Meltdown and Lord of the Deep. So Meltdown actually brings back Super Transformation, even though I preferred the original Transformation which was blue and looked really cool. But anyway, you uh, it allows you to transform, giving you final damage. 25% um, at max level and 20% when it's not maxed and every of course five levels uh, gives you one extra percent however it allows you to gain mobility as in you can teleport left and right you can teleport up and down and you can do so once in uh, you know the two directions like left or right or up and down one time before hitting the ground and uh, let's see anything else oh it allows you to throw two magic, uh, magic, two energy orbs that will just destroy enemies. It, it's really strong. Um, however, when you max it, when it's level 25, you get three orbs. But from levels 1 to 25, 24, you have only two orbs. And then for some reason at level 25, they were like, oh, you know what, let's give them three. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, it's Miyamoto again. He's probably going to scream. He screamed. <laughs> so, yeah, great skill. Um, of course, the Becky. Is he gonna say, "Look at her butt"? <laughs> no, why? <laughs> oh my goodness. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, the energy orbs also count as like normal attacks. So when you're trying to charge up it will pretty much fully charge you with only two orbs. But I'll get into that about when I get to keeping energy. Um, so the orbs themselves do three lines of damage, and they attack up to 10 enemies. They also do 50% extra crit, uh, crit rate and ignore 50% enemy defense, or 50% added to whatever you have currently. All right, so I believe that is Meltdown. Oh, another thing. In the last line, you see that it says um, unaffected by re attack reflection, which is, that's true. It doesn't get you killed when an enemy does damage reflect. However, it also says, and you are invi invincible while wielding it. I've yet to see proof of this. I've tested it on normal enemy attacks. I tested it on percent HP attacks. I tested it on bombs. It does not seem to work. So I don't know if it's like a Nightwalker problem where it says that it does, but it doesn't actually. Or if I'm just doing it wrong um, but anyway yeah that is meltdown so next we have Lord of the Deep and this is the skill that everybody wants this is the skill that everybody you know really makes a buck for and what it does is uh, it's a toggle skill that of course means that once you activate it it stays on until you either die take it off or run out of energy and my main training skill all I have to do is jump around and I can start training, or that's pretty much how I kill things. Um, but yeah, it does three lines of damage, pretty much rapid fire, uh, does 710% damage, and yeah, you can toggle it on and off. So I'll explain how it works, because some people are going to be like, what's the cooldown? Again, it's a toggle skill, so it doesn't really have a cooldown. It does have a three second cooldown, but that, that's for like reapplying it. So like you can't just take it off, turn it back on, take it off, turn it back on. There is like a little bit of a wait time before you can turn it back on. But anyway, as you can see here, I used up my energy. As it's attacking, it uses energy. So right now I have no energy, which means I can't have Lord of the Deep out. However, if I attack one time, for every attack that Bucks do, they gain 350 energy when you're fourth job. So I actually have 350 energy charged right now. It's not going to tell you, but anyway. So that means I can... Uh, use Lord of the Deep, because Lord of the Deep will use 110 energy when you're not charged, and 100 energy when you are charged. So attacking one time gives you, like, what, a few hits before it goes away? So in order for me to continue to keep it out while, um, while training, is I'll attack one time, well, that time I attacked twice, but I attack one time, and then because Nautilus Strike gives you extra attacks, that actually counts towards, you know, giving you 350 energy. So I use Nautilus Strike, and then I activate Lord of the Deep, and then I use Spiral Assault. 
Or you can use Octopunch, because Octopunch is technically faster than, um... It's technically faster than using, uh, Spiral Assault. But yeah, as long as you can gain more energy than Lord of the Deep uses, then you can keep it up at a 99% chance. And of course, by attacking bosses, you gain double the amount of, um... Double the amount of energy. Um, another thing, when Lord of the Deep attacks a boss monster, it uses 60% less energy. So you can have it up a lot longer. And it's just great. And then once you are fully charged, um, you don't really have to use Spiral Assault anymore because you are fully charged already. You don't have to worry about gaining energy because then it'll only use energy. So um, yeah, that is the two skills. And now I'll just show you... Oh, actually! No, no, no. I forgot something. So, someone mentioned that I had my skills muted. And yes, I always have Maple muted. Even the music. I listen to my own music. But, um... Yeah, I realized that I hadn't actually heard the fifth job skills yet. So, after I explain, um... How to keep your energy up, which I just did, but I'll show you, like, an example of it. I'll probably fast-forward through it. Um... But yeah, then I'll go over the fifth job skills that I already did, and the Bucks sounds. So I'll just turn my sounds on so you can hear the skills. And then for every future uh, video, I'll do the same thing, where at the end, I'll listen. To, I'll have the sound playing. Or maybe at the beginning, I'll have the sound play, and then mute it afterwards or something. I don't know. We'll see. As I, I'm just winging this. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway. So when I'm training, what I normally do is activate... Uh, what do you call it? Meltdown? to regain energy, like it just charges you fully. And then once this is over, once I run out of energy, hopefully Lord of the Deep has already used all of the energy, and then I can use the spirit bombs, or I call them spirit bombs, the energy orbs to regain energy. So um, I'm actually gonna force myself to run out of energy a little bit faster, cause I just realized I've been talking through this, so if I fast forward, you wouldn't be able to hear me. But anyway, I'll do the, I'll do it for when I uh, the next thing. So yeah, now I'm out of energy. So what I do is I throw the spirit bomb, and as you can see, it's regaining it's uh, recovering my energy very quickly. And then one more orb should be able to fully charge, or even just one octopunch punch would have recharged me probably. But anyway, then I go back to using uh, Nautilus. What? I go back to using Lord of the Deep. So I'm gonna fast forward through this part and show you what I do between. Um, between cooldowns. Alright, so now that it ran out of energy, I use the 150 Harper skill, Stimulating Conversation, to regain energy. And Stimulating Conversation also recharges a little bit of energy. So while I'm using uh, energy, it'll also recharge. So um, let's just say that my Meltdown is level 1 right now. Because I think if I do it right now, it's going to be off cooldown by the time uh, my energy runs out. But you'll see what I what I do. So we'll just pretend that Meltdown isn't off cooldown by the time this is over. So probably going to fast forward this part again. Okay, so I'm out of energy. The skill's not off cooldown yet. What do I do? Well, what I do is Nautilus Strike activate uh, Lord, and Stimulating Conversation is still going on as a buff, as you can see up here. So it's still giving me energy, allowing me to charge much faster than normal. And uh, Spiral Assault. And as long as I'm attacking enemies, I'm regaining energy, and I'm regaining it faster than Lord of the Deep can use it. And that's what I do in between cooldowns, until uh, Meltdown is off cooldown, and then I start using that again. And um, I guess I could show bossing, but... I mean, you get the idea, it's just, you can use all of your skills, it's just that Lord of the Deep is helping you, um, use Meltdown to just transform and gain extra final damage and whatnot. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about um, Buck's fifth job. So let me go ahead and turn sound on, so we can hear what these sound like. Oops. Okay, so that's what they sound like. So here's what, uh, here's what Meltdown sounds like. Pretty interesting. And what the orb sounds like. Goodness! Hmm. 
Okay. And here's Lord of the Deep. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I should probably do it in a map that doesn't have monsters. But I figured you would want to hear, you know, uh, the hit sound as well. So, here we go. Hmm. Alright. Alright, let's hear the sound of the previous skills that I, uh, that I showed. Alright, Benediction doesn't really have a sound. And let's try, uh, Angel of Balance. Interesting. Ooh, pretty. And one in bossing mode. Ooh, and the hit sound. Very interesting. Alright, let's see how the Marksman one sounds. Alright, let's see what the fifth job skills for Marksman sound like. Interesting. Ooh, I like it. I like that sound a lot. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. And let's see, split shot. I like it. Jeez. I, I like I like them all. Yep, I like it. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, thank you to the person who uh, you know wanted to hear the sounds because even I hadn't heard sounds before from the skills. So um, yeah, that'll do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in the next one.